Hey, welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18. We are uh, ready to get running today. We got a load booked and uh, we're getting the truck washed after uh, all the rain we saw over here in California. Yes, I know rain's not a big deal to all, all the rest of the country, but for us, it was a pretty decent little storm, all right? It was a decent little storm. A bunch of trees fell over and stuff. It had some decent wind along with it, so uh, yeah, you gotta do some cleanup after that. But uh, the truck El Hueso's getting, uh, getting cleaned up. And uh, then we gotta run run a load, man. We gotta run a load and we're going to Utah. We're not going up north to Utah. We're not going near Salt, Salt Lake. We're gonna go just a little bit past Vegas, go to St. George, Utah, down south. So uh, keeping ourselves out of the snow areas, all right? That's how we roll. That's El Hueso's a, a snowbird, all right? We, we, uh, we, we run south for the winter, all right? <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, uh, we're gonna get this truck washed and then uh, we gotta roll the music. Yeah, roll the music. So we, uh, we got the truck washed, I dried it off a little bit, and then uh, I went over to get myself a burrito from the little taco truck right here uh, at the truck stop that I park at and where the truck washes. It's a pretty convenient little spot right here. But anyway, I ordered the burrito, right? Super burrito, asada, no cilantro, no onions, that's how I roll, okay? She's like, okay, that'll be $5. I'm like, uh, how much? She said, like, yeah, $5. Um, you're, you're at the fire department, right? <laughs> and I told her, no, I'm not. But this is, this is I said, these are just friends out in Kapalua on, on the island of Maui. They sent me this shirt because they watch my YouTube channel. So what's up, everybody out there, Kapalua Airport, uh, firefighters, you guys rock. Thanks for the shirt. And uh, almost got me a discount on my burrito. If I wouldn't have caught it, she would have let me get away with it too. But uh I told her, no, 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 I'm just a truck driver. Just a tr weird truck driver with a YouTube channel. That's just, that's how it, how it is. If you have a weird truck driver with a YouTube channel discount, give that to me. But I can't take a firefighter discount. That's not, that's not fair. These guys are out here saving people's lives and, uh, and property. And uh, I'm just out here acting silly on YouTube and, you know, hauling freight around, hauling freight around. Today we're going to go pick up some cheese from Hillmar Cheese, which is five miles from the yard. So got the truck washed, got the trailer washed out, ready to go. And um, it wasn't terrible this time. It wasn't it wasn't really dirty, but uh, um, yeah, I, I got my blower and uh, I was just, it was just it was too much, too many chunks of wood to get it with the blower. Like it was just taking forever. And uh, man, some of those pallets that they used on the last couple loads I had, they just like disintegrated in my trailer. So I decided, you know what? It'll be easier just to power wash these out of here for these guys. You know, it costs like 20 something bucks for them to do a uh, trailer washout. I'm, I don't know, I actually I didn't look at my receipt. I forget how much they charge, but it's not that much. And I need to get the truck washed anyway, because we had all that rain. So I just knocked it all out at once. And now uh, it's about 11.15 and we got a 12.30 appointment over there. So I just turn the unit on, on the reefer, get, it, get this thing down to temperature. And then we'll get over there uh, probably 30, I mean, um, probably an hour early, maybe 45 minutes early and uh, go pick up our load. So that's, that's what the plan is for today. I'm gonna eat my burrito, let this thing pre-cool, and I'm gonna slowly make my way that direction, the five miles that it takes to get over to Hillmar Cheese. So that's what the plan is today. I'll check in with you guys when we get over there. All right. All right. Take two, take two. Uh, I showed up over there at 11:45, and uh, the guy told me he said, "Hey, we're we're behind today, so I can't check you in until 12:30 at your appointment time." I said, "Really? Everywhere else you go, you know, you can check in uh, an hour early." He said, 
Yeah, that's usually how we are too. We'll check you in two hours early if we got time, but uh, they said they're behind today and not to check anyone in until their uh, appointment time. I said, okay. So by the time I got out of there, it was like 11.52, 11.53. Uh, drove the five miles back to my yard and it took me about 10 minutes because I slow rolled it. And uh, so I got here at like 12.05. <laughs> so now I'm gonna hang out here for another 10 minutes and then slow roll my way back over there. So kind of a sucky way to start my day because it started my clock. I got a lot of drive, you know, a lot of drive time to get in today and uh, we're gonna be running hard. And, uh, and I wanted to get loaded early. It sounds like they're backed up over there. It might take a while to get loaded. So I might be having to drive into the wee hours of the morning, which I wanted to try to avoid to do if I could, uh, you know, if I could help it. So anyway, that's what today is. Uh, that's how today's going. It's a Tuesday, you know, on a Tuesday, just, just, you know, the club's going up, whatever. Uh, sorry, I'm so dumb. All right, uh, let's roll back over there because it's now about 12, uh, 12, 15. So I'll just start slowly making my way over there. Sounds like uh, a waste of time to me, but that's what we got to do. Let's go. checked in now until like 1245 <laughs> man it must be uh, it must be uh, yeah stacked up back there kind of a bummer kind of a bummer but all right I'm gonna continue uh, Waiting to get checked in here. I won't make you guys suffer through this process. Uh, there's three reefer trucks in front of me. I'm the fourth reefer truck, so. We'll see uh, how long this takes just to get checked in and then we'll get checked in, go get a dock and I'll check in with you guys once we're uh, getting loaded back there. All right, we are loaded. Uh, we didn't get out of there until after four o'clock. So about three and a half hours to get, uh, to get loaded. And um, yeah, that was that was silly. That was a little bit silly. And well, now we're going through uh, the little small town of Hillmar. Normally, I would go uh, backtrack a couple miles and cut over to the 99, but I was looking at the map and there's an accident on Highway 99, uh, pretty close to where I parked my truck. So I'm gonna go. Uh, south a little ways right here on Highway 165 and then cut over um, a little further south and get over to the 99. So anyway, we are finally loaded um, and you know, four o'clock, like I said before, we got about 10 hours of driving, um, maybe 10 and a half once we take our half hour break somewhere in there. So, you know, we're looking at like, 2 2 30 in the morning getting over there so uh yeah it should be interesting uh i'll have to i'll have to get some uh, caffeine in me to keep me running tonight you know, i've been home for a couple days few days so i'm on that uh you know home time schedule so uh, anyway that is what we're gonna do i will catch up with you guys when we get down the road Don't tip my hat 
no sir, nothing like that Got my mind made up, yeah Tell you straight up St. George, Utah, and um, yeah, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but we lost an hour. I forgot to figure in that we lost, we lose an hour going to mountain time when we get into Utah. So we just barely made it into Utah. So it just switched from uh, 215 to about 315. So uh, yeah, got to got to get in bed. Uh, that actually shortens the time before I have to make the delivery. So my clock's going to be a little funky tomorrow. Um, I mean, ultimately, you gotta take the time off you need to take off anyway, so it's just a matter of what time I'm gonna wake up and put the, the trailer in the dock during my 10 off. Shh. Don't, you don't gotta tell no one about that, all right? It's just our little secret, me and thousands of people who watch this video, that, uh, you know, I'm gonna dock the, the trailer while I'm on my 10 hours off. That's just how it goes. Thank you, FMCSA, for these regulations. This is what you cause us to do. I just ran through the entire night to get here in one shift because I need to get my 10 hours back tomorrow because I, I couldn't just stop short and make the delivery in the morning and then go and pick up my next load because that's just not the way it works. That's not the way that finances work, man. Got to keep the truck moving, got to keep it loaded, and got to park it at the customer so you can do crap like this. Go dock it, unload it, and hit the road tomorrow once we get this thing unloaded. So anyway... Uh, I gotta go get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll talk about the numbers. All right, all right. Good night now. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Ooh, that is bright. Holy crap. All right. Uh, we're here on the street where we slept. Uh, we really didn't get too much sleep. Uh, it took me a while to wind down. Once I got in the sleeper, and uh, well. My phone started going off this morning, so we're on about four hours sleep, but hey, we've gone on less, right? So not too bad. We just got to get uh, turned around and and um, the delivery's right, like uh, about a half block behind us. So just turn around and get uh, get going that direction and we'll go check in over there. All right, uh, this was interesting to get over here and get everything situated so I could get in the dock. Um, 
Yeah, I'll take you guys outside and show you right now. Um, kind of weird. All right, so first the only place to pull in and pull up was there because look at how short this driveway is. So my nose is sticking out and I'm almost into the dock already. So I came over here. Well, then she's, I had to back into this dock and I couldn't blindside around uh, this truck right here. It was going to be way too hard. So I backed all the way up um, where that red truck is. And then I had to swing out into the street and block traffic for a second so I could back straight up. It was an adventure. But we are now lined up for our door and uh, we just gotta slide our tandems and then we will be once we slide our tandems we will be ready to rock and roll so let's get in the door and let's talk numbers all right uh, let's get to the numbers um, they're done unloading me I'm actually over here on the side street um, I've tried to record this like six times and each time uh, somebody either walks up to the truck or or something happens to distract me I get uh, I get ADD, a phone call comes in, a text message comes in, I end up staring at the screen for like three minutes, and then I realize, oh, I was recording something, whoops. Anyway, so let's go, go straight into the numbers before something else interrupts me. We got $2,600 on this rate. So $2,600, uh, it was about 615 miles, um, and that's actual miles, so the loaded miles were like 600, 600 and something, but I remember I did that extra little back and forth to the yard, 10 miles, whatever. Not a big deal, but it comes out to 422 per mile which i'm really happy with especially if you're getting 422 a mile on 600 something miles you're you're gonna do well at the end of the week if you can get it done and you know a pick one day and a drop the next day um it's it's looking good um the only problem is i don't know if that 422 is gonna hold up i don't because i booked this load um uh and then they asked me if I could do another one on Thursday. And I said, yes, because I was looking at a couple loads for Wednesday, today, uh, some backhauls. And I said, yeah, I'll be able to find a backhaul, no problem. So just book them both. Well, now, as soon as I said that, I went to go book my backhaul that I was looking at. It was nice, it was gravy load. It was like, it was like 3,000 pounds out of Vegas, going to like Sacramento. And the timing worked out and it was gonna be $2,000. And I was just like, cha-ching cha-ching and then i went to book it and then disappeared so i mean someone else booked it so i um you know now i'm sitting here and i'm trying to you know scrape something together try and figure out uh, what i can do so as soon as my 10 hours is up here in st george utah i'll probably he start heading back towards vegas start heading back towards where some other some other freight is so that i can try to find something for today because if i can't find anything and i got deadhead 600 miles to go back to pick up man i'm gonna be <laughs> that 422 all of a sudden what is 211 a mile if you cut it in half that's not good my friend so uh gotta find something i'm 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 kind of desperate right now so i'm looking i gotta find something um it's kind of a bummer because you know I, I lost a day on monday also i mean i didn't lose a day i had to do stuff i, I did my ifta so with my uh with my ifta um you know it, it was easy but it took some time it was my first time doing it uh, I also had I, I had I didn't file for the second quarter which I didn't know I needed to because I didn't um, go out of state in the second quarter and really I didn't even know my IFTA was valid or a active in the second quarter uh, but apparently it was for two weeks so I had to go in and um, get my second quarter filed pay a penalty on that and then go in and file my third quarter, which my third quarter, I did a lot of, a lot of uh, out of state miles. You know, me and Miles went on our trip out to, to Tennessee and Virginia and North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. So anyway, so we hit a bunch of states on that one. And then I also took the trip more recently out to Minnesota. So all in all, I had miles in 23 states, um, which obviously for me is unusual. I mean, the name of this channel is Trucking California with Velox 18. so. Uh, we did quite a bit of uh, trucking around, way more than, than I'm used to and way more than um, I expected to be able to, but hey, we got some, uh, you know, we got the opportunity to do it, so we're going to we're gonna keep doing it, and we're in Utah right now, so this is proof, proof that we're going to keep on doing what we're doing and putting in some miles out of state, but that made IFTA a little bit um, 
just not even time consuming. Yeah, it was a little bit time consuming. It took a couple hours on Monday. Uh, and I started looking for a load on Monday afternoon and I couldn't find anything for that day. And that's when I found this load that picked up on Tuesday. And I said, well, this is a good enough paying load that I'm going to, this is what I'm going to start my week off with. So anyway, all that to say, I lost Monday, Tuesday, got this, this load, delivered it now Wednesday morning. And I got another load picking up Northern California on Thursday, but I got to find something for Wednesday. I got to find something for today to get me back to California because deadheading back is like not an option for me. <laughs> it just, I can't, that can't be, I can't do it. Cannot do it. Not with the fuel prices the way they are. Dude, no way. I got to figure something out. So anyway, with that, I got to jump off this video. I got to cut this off because I got to jump on the low boards and find something. Um, my 10 hours will be up in about two hours. So I got to go. I got to go. I got to find something. Sometimes when you're up against the clock is when you find the best loads. So I got to find, I got to jump on and be ready for any load that pops up. Um, cause I need something. All right. Love you guys. Peace out. I will see you on the next load. Hopefully there is a next load. All right. All right. Peace.